Last 15 seconds. I want to see at least six more. Keep working. Give me nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come on up. 30 second cross jack. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, we're tired. Yeah, we might be sweaty. That's how we grow stronger. Ooh, that's it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Steve, I think you're not on mute. <laughs> so last 10, then we're running. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, sprint. Go, 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 go. Woo, get those knees up. Run it out. We're gonna have water. We're gonna have a rest. Our next exercise is not quite as intense, but it is just as important. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Water break. <sighs> All right. So we're gonna allow everything to slow down on our next exercise and work on an element of strength. We've done a fair amount of lunges over the last couple days. Today we're gonna work on lateral lunges. So instead of forwards and backwards, I take my hands to my hips, I step out to the left, get low, come through center, out to the right, get low, come back through center. And you can do them with hands on hips or what I naturally seem to do is take my hands together for stability. So you can do either of those. If you want more of a challenge, hands behind the head. But you know, the slouching, we got to have wide elbows. So our first 45 seconds, we got lateral lunges. Choose your position wherever you want to be. We're going in three, two, and one. Over to the side, get low, come back up, and switch. There we go. Awesome. Great. <laughs> Good, good, good. Good, sink into it if you can, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. We don't wanna compromise our form and our strength building just for the name of speed. We wanna think about why we're doing this. Last 15 seconds, bring it home. <laughs> 10, we have seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Those look good. Those look really good. I saw a couple of like this to this. My only suggestion would be see if you can sink into it a little bit more. And also a tip that I like to do as I'm doing these is I put all of my weight into my heel and I really drive my heel into the floor to press myself out of it. Now, if this makes no sense to you, don't worry about it. But just a little something that might help for the balance. All right, 30 seconds. Four, three, two, let's go. We go over, up, side, press into the heel, up. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. The best thing about doing the hardest interval first is then the other ones just seem so short. Last 10. Good. Give me three more, five, four, three, two, and rest. One more interval at 15 seconds. Then we have one more exercise and we're gonna get the heart rate up and then do our core circuit. So 15 seconds, lateral lunges, on your mark, get set, let's go. And for these ones, I don't care if you only do like four or six of them, you just get really low into it. Mm -hmm. Nice, because I have. Perfect. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, let's get our heart rate up, and then we have our final exercise. So, first 45 seconds, we have inchworms. After we get our heart rate up, we'll take a rest, because we're going big for our last one. Inchworms, ready, set, here we go. Walk it out, walk it in. Let me see that jump. 
Good. Mm -hmm. After this, we're going to do our cross stack. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and everybody up. 30 seconds, cross stack. Great. Woo. Get those arms going. Get those legs going. Awesome. Then we sprint all out. This is the last time we're getting a heart rate up with this circuit. Give me six, five, four, three, two, and run it out. Knees up. Light on those feet. Go, 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 go. It's only 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Water break all around. Coming up next, we have burpees. I know, it's just one of those days. But this is the last exercise we're gonna do today and then we're gonna work the core. So are we gonna go all in? Absolutely, because we made it this far and we're not gonna give up now. <sighs> all right, once you've had your sip of water, come to the front of your mat or your workspace. Got my plant here to keep me company. All right, arms up. I will demonstrate one burpee and then I will set you free to do them on your own. Arms up, I take my hands down, I jump back, push out jump up and leap okay we know these we can do these we have done these 45 seconds in three two and one keep it going such great work today I recommend that I see it you guys consistently show up for yourselves and the workouts all the time and it's really cool to see. <laughs> Great. Awesome. I'm looking at everyone. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Last 10 seconds. Dan is flying. <laughs> yes, Dan. Go, George. Six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come out to stand. 30 seconds. Walk to the top of your mat or your workspace. We're going in three, two, and one. Go. Wow. These are good. Oftentimes I see people stepping back, but I see you think everyone doing those jumps, and I admire it, and I appreciate it. It's not easy, but you guys look great. Mm-hmm. Last 10 seconds, we're already here. See if you can give me four more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I aimed high, I picked a really high number. All right, last exercise, last set of the day. We only have 15 seconds. So count them, see how many you can do. And then we're gonna calm down for some extended core and some stretching, okay? Because our core is very important and we often kind of leave it at the end. So today we have some longer core work. All right, 15 seconds, on your mark, get set, go. Count them out, support them back, burpee. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let me hear your numbers. What do we got? How many burpees did we do in 15 seconds? Ooh. You guys look sweaty and it looks great. I'm sweaty, just bouncing around and yelling at you. No numbers, we're just hot and tired and dying. We're not gonna report our burpees, that's fine. Cause I have five, cool, cool. I like it. Honestly, you guys can report back that you would that you done one, and I'd be really happy because that meant you're moving. Sydney and Sophia have four. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for George to be like ninety. <laughs> Diane said four. Yeah, yeah. It's the end of the day. We're tired. It's a lot of work. 
I like it. Great, great job, everyone. All right, let's come down Georgia four as well. All right, we're all we're all on the same page here. Good. Okay, core time. Everybody, come on down to this. We are going to do two rounds of 45 seconds, 30 seconds, and 15 seconds of core. Now, the first round is going to be bicycles. Hey, buddy. Oh, excuse you. First round is bicycles. And then the next one, we're going to do three sets of our hollow body holds. Now, a 45-second hollow body hold is not easy, and that's exactly why we're doing it, okay? So first 45 seconds, we have bicycles. Make your way down. Hands behind the head. Ready? Let's go. Work through it. Really work on pulling the elbows into the knees and finding contact. Otherwise, my cat might yell at you, like he yells at me. <laughs> Good. Now, making sure that we're not just flopping side to side, we're really finding that twist, engaging our abdominals to get elbow to knee contact. Last 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. Give me seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice. Woo. Not easy stuff. 30 seconds. We're going in four, three, two, let's go. 30 seconds, bicycle. Nice. And we're preparing those abs for the hollow body hold. And every single person that I come into contact with that I'm training this week is, has to do a hollow body hold. You guys are included. Mm -hmm. Good. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Good. We ready for that last 15 seconds? Here we go. 15 seconds, bicycles. Go. Great. This is fast. We're moving through it. 10 seconds left. Mm -hmm. We're going to pull the knees into the chest and rest in five, four, three, Two, knees into the chest rest. Now for a hollow body hold. If you can't complete a 45 second hollow body hold, be gentle and patient with yourself because that is a long time to hold one of the hardest core exercises you can do. So let's make our way up together. Arms extend back behind me, legs come forward. The only thing I really care about is your spine stays rooted into the mat the whole time and our time is going. Hold it. If your back gets tired and it starts to arch, just lift your legs higher. It's fine. Your core is still working. Tuck your chin into your chest. And oh my goodness, don't stop breathing. Keep pulling the navel in, pulling the navel in. Everything is going to shake. And that's okay. Good. Nice. We've got it. 20 more seconds. Woo. I'm right here with you. Squeeze your ankles together. Reach those fingertips and your heels in the opposite direction. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Back down 5, 4, 3, 2, and whoa. Rest. All right. Now we've got a 30 second one, which is hard enough in itself, but we're going to do it again. Reach your arms up. Reach your arms back. Extend your legs long. Lift your head. We're going 30 seconds here. Mm -hmm. And I can't see whether your back is down or not, so I'm trusting that you guys are going to be very careful here so that we are working our core and not taxing our spine. Mm -hmm. 12, 11. Pull the belly button in. Breathe through it. Squeeze something in your body to help maintain the shape. Five, four, three, two, Rest, knees into the chest, rock side to side, release the spine a bit. All right, we've got our last 15 seconds of the day. Let's bring it home, because when we have a strong core, the rest of the body has better, has better control, is more controlled, it just works better. 15 seconds, arms back, legs up, let's go. Final hollow body hold. If you want more of a challenge, drop your legs lower and lower towards the floor, but do not let them touch. Mm -hmm. 
Good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody knees into the chest, rock side to side. Now let's release the spine because that was a lot of work. Guide both knees over to the right, keeping the left shoulder rooted into the ground. And then pull the knees back through center, drop them over to the left, keeping the right shoulder rooted into the ground. And then pull the knees back through center, start to rock and roll up and down along the spine until you come up to sit, bring yourself all the way up to stand. Our last stretch of the day will be combined upper and lower body, clasp the hands, lift the arms up, and then bend into the knees, dive forward into that swimming pool as you rock side to side. Ooh, let the head hang, dropping the gaze between the legs to the back of the neck as long. And keep lifting the arms up. I know it's not comfortable, but it's really good for our shoulder rotation, shoulder mobility. Release the hands, let everything hang. And one vertebrae at a time, as slowly as you can, roll all the way up to stand. And once you come up, nice straight spine, reach the arms up, bring your palms together and give yourself a round of applause overhead. Good job. This is our first time doing the pure pyramid format together and you guys smashed it. We're gonna have to keep making our workouts harder uh, at the rate everyone's going because you're doing so well. Good job, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Go Thank Gator. You. Bye. <laughs> Bye.